Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a check-in ahead of our Wheeler Wednesday on our Philadelphia Phillies, as they were able to get a big win, squeak one in because of really just bad managing by Brandon Hyde yesterday and not walking JT Realmuto to get to Andrew Knapp. But thank God they did it because JT comes through. It hasn't been as silky smooth of a season for him injury-wise and consistency-wise this year. Probably has to do with the other there. But he's able to come through and come through in the biggest moment yesterday after Harper gets the Bonds treatment and gets walked to put the winning run on. Even though it would have loaded the bases, I am still shocked they did not walk JT to go to Andrew Knapp. It seems like he hasn't got a hit in months. Um, so it's definitely surprising they didn't do that, but thank God they didn't do that because JT comes through. And then today, we have a Wheeler Wednesday. But before we get on to that, I also have to shout out Adonis Medina because he was the opener. He did give up the one, the one run, but did get into the fourth, and he didn't end up having this be a full-blown bullpen game by one pitcher, one pitcher, one pitcher through nine innings which was huge for the Phillies because their success rate in that was only good for that one the first time they did it when they balled out. And then I don't want to see a bullpen game from this game or from this team at all because their bullpen is not consistent enough through and through to have a bullpen game. They may have a couple catch down there that have been consistent. But it's nice to see Medina step up. Maybe they end up being able to use um, him out of the bullpen now for the rest of the season since it's coming down to the end of the season here. Or they'll be able to use him as an opener again. We'll have to see. But it's good to have him if he's pitching like that because then you'll be able to use him for a couple innings either out of the pen or as an opener again if you need be at a certain moment. But I would think you would want to try to move around the rotation to have the best guys going and maybe treat it like playoffs and go on shorter rest with the best guy in the last week if we're in the position to kind of push at that Brave series. But we'll have to see. Either way, though, the second part of this video is looking ahead to the Wheeler Wednesday. We got Zach Wheeler tonight going against Keegan Aiken, like I said in the video yesterday. Keegan Aiken struggling mightily. He's 2-10 with a 6.93 ERA. So the Phillies got to be able to hit this guy. They got to. Obviously, the lefty they faced that they struggled against, really struggled against, in Game 1 is John Means, who has a no-hitter to his name, actually was good in the very good in the Rookie of the Year voting in his rookie season, had a bad second year, and now is looking like a very good pitcher again. So him dominating is understandable. Not coming back on the bullpen in that game is a different story. Then the Phillies were able to answer yesterday. Now you have their worst pitcher pitching. Um, hopefully, obviously, I don't like insulting uh, pitchers in the league, but just statistically, he's their worst pitcher pitching. That doesn't mean he's never going to have success. But this year, he ain't doing it. He only has two wins. Don't let him. Don't let you be the team he gets his number three win against. He, you got to jump on this guy. I don't care if Reese Hoskins is not in the lineup or not. That's a huge caveat against John Means. He would have been a huge effect to have in the lineup against Means with some of the hangers he left over the zone, the few mistakes he made. Maybe he could have hit one out. But against a guy like Keegan Aiken, you got to have guys step up. Freddie Galvis hopefully will keep hitting well. He's been doing very good since coming here. So hopefully he continues to have success. You would think Gene Segura would have great success against a guy like this, Bryce Harper, even though it's lefty on lefty, he's hit them well. You would think against a guy that doesn't have the most movement on his pitches, Harp's going to have good success here. And you would think JT, the game winner from yesterday, um, would have good success as well. So I think this is going to be a game that's going to come down to that. Odubel Herrera is going to be the interesting cat. What success will he have against this type of lefty since he hasn't been hitting the lefties as well? of late when getting those opportunities, and he is still leading off tonight. Kutch is batting fifth, which I think is smart there, and then you got Freddie Galvis behind him, so you got the two righties, and you're moving DD all the way down to seventh because DD just really can't hit lefties. Um, and then you have Matt Veerling batting eighth um, in front of Zach Wheeler, who's a good guy to bat eighth since he controls the zone while he's been going the other way since coming up here. So I think that's a good move there as well, where the top of the order other than Herrera is Segura second, Harper third, and Real Muto fourth, like usual. Um, so I think the Phillies have a great chance to win. This is the highest percentage game I gave them a chance to win in the other video I made in this series because you got Keegan Aiken going up against Zach Wheeler competing for the Cy Young. Obviously, it ain't going to be easy for him to win the Cy Young because of that dude named Mad Max out there in L.A. since he's got out there, but he's still going to be in the top five voting, falling to probably maybe even the top three, 
So this is a great pitcher in the league going up against a not-so-much, uh, let's just put it that way, guy in the league that has a 6.93 ERA. So take advantage of him. Jump on pitches early. This is a guy I want to see. How they were talking about on the broadcast yesterday, Gene Segura jump on a pitch early and just smack it like he does when he jumps on first pitches. I also want to see Galvis do that potentially. And I also want to see Veerling do that because this guy doesn't have anything special. He's probably going to try to get ahead of you, and he might leave some things over the zone. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate you following the channel. And always share it on your social media if you want to as well to spread the love. Stay safe out there. Go Phillies. Let's ring that bell tonight and get this win on a wheel of Wednesday. Peace out, everybody.